Hi everyone. Most TVs on the market these days have one of their HDMI ports labeled with the letters EARC. If you're saying it out loud, you'd usually just say EARC. You can use this port to connect a soundbar, a stereo system, or a surround sound system to play the TV sound. On some modern TVs like this Samsung, EARC is the only way to connect the TV to external speakers. If you have an EARC port on your TV and an EARC socket on your audio system, the connection is very straightforward. Just plug one end of an HDMI cable into the EARC port on the TV and the other end to the EARC port on the audio system. Any HDMI cable that's in good condition will work and nothing special is needed. Once you've connected the cable, turn on the TV and the audio system and in most cases the TV will automatically switch the sound to the external speakers and you'll be able to control the volume with the TV remote. If the TV doesn't automatically detect the audio system, turn the TV off with its remote control, wait 10 seconds and then turn it on again. There may be a few seconds of delay, but the TV sound should then come from your external speakers. The next time you turn the TV off, it should automatically send the audio system to sleep and wake it up again when the TV is turned on. I have a troubleshooting section at the end of this video for if you've connected up your system, turned it on and you don't get any sound. If you're connecting a stereo system or a pair of stereo speakers, you have to change one of the TV's sound settings. The digital audio output mode needs to be changed to PCM from its usual setting of auto. The three letters PCM just mean the same as stereo on TVs. The digital audio output can be found in the sound settings of the TV. On Samsung TVs, it's hidden in what they call expert settings. The TV will play audio through the eARC port regardless of which HDMI input is selected on the TV. So it'll work for Blu-ray players, game systems or external streamers like Fire TV or Roku. And of course it'll work for any of the smart TV apps selected. The sound will always match whatever is playing on the screen. With eARC, it's not necessary to use the HDMI inputs on the receiver to get the sound through that receiver. You would only use the receiver HDMI inputs if you ran out of inputs on the TV or you wanted to play audio from one of the devices with the TV turned off, like if you wanted to play audio CDs on your Blu-ray player. If your soundbar or receiver just has the letters ARC or ARC without the E at the beginning, don't worry, it'll still play perfectly on an eARC TV. They should be completely compatible. If your TV has an HDMI port labeled with the letters ARC instead of EARC, it's a little more complicated. A TV with ARC but not EARC will play stereo or regular 5.1 channel surround sound but will not play Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos is the latest form of surround sound and if you have a Dolby Atmos surround sound system and a TV without EARC, you'll only get regular 5.1 channel surround sound on your Atmos system. There's no way to convert ARC to EARC. If you really want Dolby Atmos, you'll need a new TV. If you have an audio system that doesn't have an HDMI input labeled ARC or EARC, you can use an adapter like this one. To use the adapter, connect the HDMI cable to the EARC port of the TV and then to the ARC port on the adapter. For stereo, connect the red and white RCA connectors on the adapter to any unused input on your stereo. The only exception is a phono input. Never connect TV sound to a phono input. Also remember to set your TV sound output to PCM. The volume control on the TV remote will work for the stereo. Open her up! It's Black Friday. But the on-off function for the stereo won't work if you're using an adapter. One way to get a simple stereo to turn on and off automatically with the TV remote is to use a smart power strip. You plug the TV into the control outlet and you plug the stereo into one of the controlled outlets. The smart power strip detects the change in electrical current when the TV turns on and switches on, on the power for the stereo. To figure out if your stereo will work with a smart power strip, just plug it into any outlet with the power switch in the on position. 
If it turns on fully and reasonably quietly and doesn't require you to push a button to get out of standby mode, then you can use a smart power strip. Vintage receivers and modern mini amplifiers which don't have remote controls are the most likely to work well with a smart power strip. For a surround sound system that doesn't have HDMI arc, connect the optical output of the HDMI arc adapter to the optical input of the surround sound system. The optical socket is sometimes labeled TOSLINK and sometimes SPDIF. They're all the same thing. In the case of a surround sound system, the TV sound output should not be set to PCM. You'll need to use the remote for the surround sound system or a universal remote to control the volume and that same remote to turn the system on and off. One thing I've noticed is that HDMI ARC and EARC are getting more consistent and reliable with newer TVs and sound systems. When ARC was first introduced, there are a lot of frustrating compatibility problems between the brands. If you don't get sound after connecting it the way I've shown, here are some troubleshooting tips. Firstly, check that HDMI CEC is turned on in your TV. CEC is part of the HDMI standard and eARC is one of the CEC features. TVs let you turn off CEC in the settings and some TVs have it initially turned off by default when they're new. Some TV manufacturers label CEC and eARC with their own brand name, which is kind of deceptive. CEC is a standard just like Bluetooth or HDMI. They all use it and it works the same, whatever they call it. To figure out how to turn on CEC for your brand of TV, you can pause this video and take a screenshot here and use this cheat sheet. Some TVs require you to turn on CEC and eARC separately. For example, on this Sony TV, we find Bravia Sync, which is their name for CEC, under the cryptically labeled External Inputs menu. After turning that on, we have to go to the Sound menu where there's a setting which says Output sound from Bravia Sync compatible external speakers if detected when the TV is powered on. This setting needs to be turned on for external sound to work. If the sound is still not working, then the next step is to update the software on your TV if a newer version is available. You can usually find the update in the general settings under support, preferences, or something labeled about. But all the TV brands are a little different. Regardless of whether you're able to update the software, a full factory reset is a good next step. After a reset, go back and check that CEC is turned on and that you have, and if you have a stereo system, go back and set the audio output to PCM. If the sound still doesn't work, try replacing the HDMI cable because sometimes the cable gets a wire detached internally where you can't see it. The eARC audio and the video are on different wires, so you could have a bad cable for eARC audio even if it works fine for a video signal. While you're replacing the cable, make sure it's plugged into the right HDMI port on the TV and the sound system. They're often against a wall or in a cabinet and it's hard to see the sockets. So it's easy to get the cable into the wrong one. I've done it more often than I'd like to admit. If you've done all of that and it's still not working, then you could be experiencing what's called an HDMI lockup. The first thing to try is to turn off CEC in the settings and then turn it back on again. Some TVs like this Samsung have a setting to reset the audio and I have seen that clear a lockup. Otherwise, Turn all the equipment off, pull the power plugs out from the wall, remove all the HDMI cables, and just leave it for 10 minutes at least. Then you turn the TV back on, turn the audio system back on, and after that, reconnect the HDMI cable between the audio system and the TV. Make sure you get sound from one of the TV apps before connecting any other devices. Then you can start connecting your cable box, video streamers, Blu-ray players, and game systems. If it stops working and needs to be reset again, try turning off CEC on all devices except the TV and audio system. If everything still fails to work after following these steps, then you may just have an incompatibility between equipment. Unfortunately, not every piece of HDMI equipment works well with every other piece of HDMI, HDMI equipment. But thankfully, this is becoming increasingly rare with new equipment. 
If you like this video and found it helpful, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you buy products using the links in the video description, it won't cost you any more, but it will help to support this channel and is much appreciated. Thanks for watching, everyone.